All right, so we just finished the quarter victory, okay, and that went together pretty quick. Now I should probably cool it for a while, but uh, you know, I just feel like doing one more build, why not? Okay, so here's the one I've been thinking about for quite a while. It's called the Comet Pepper. All right, it's 32 inches, really nice. Has nice wing area. I think the distance from the nose to the rear peg is pretty good. So you get a nice long motor in there. All right. So it looks really, really nice, okay? It's kind of similar to the car, uh, the uh, Comet Sparky, all right? Uh, but it differs in a couple of ways. The one thing I like is the cabin is more streamlined, all right? And it, it, it's a little nicer design. I know some people think the Sparky looks better, but I, I have always liked the Comet, okay? That makes a flying dis you know, difference flying-wise, all right? Just to show you, of course, I also have the Sparky, because uh, I've been thinking about that one as well. All right, you can see the wing is similar, except it only has a partial back bottom spar in the back. That's one difference, okay? And you can see that the fuselage is just a little bigger. Uh, the rear cabin part looks a little tricky, especially if I'm going to get the equipment in there. I think it's a great plan, and I'll probably end up building it sooner or later, but I just think the Comet Pepper is a little bit more streamlined. It's really kind of nice. It also has a full bottom spar. Now, one thing I think I'm going to change is it shows a tapered spar here. It's 3 16 to 3 32. But I've had a little problems covering, uh, you know, wings that don't have any top spars. And also strength-wise, of course, it makes a difference. But I've noticed it's hard to get the mylar smooth on those wings. I mentioned this in both my, uh, my Court of Victory, uh, basically, video, all right? So I think what I'm going to do instead is just do a 332nd square spar on the bottom. Now the back one is 332nd square. So the, for the front, I'm not going to taper it. I'm just going to do a 332nd square, all right? And then I'm going to put another one on the top, okay? A 332nd square on the top. And then what I'll do is when I take the ribs out, I'll show you this. There's the little insert part, you know. I'll, I can glue a piece of that in. I've done this before, all right? So you don't have a gap there. I think that's the only change I'm going to make. It'll make it a little stronger and uh, the Mylar will cover nicer. And I'm pretty sure if you make the top spar flush with the surface, it's still SAM legal. It's legal as an old timer, okay? Now it shows a 10.6 inch prop, but I guess I'm going to use uh, an 11 inch prop. Let's see how that goes. And I'll probably use a motor similar to what I'm using on the Lanzo, okay? I think it's a really nice looking plane. And uh, so I'm looking forward to building it. And uh, it looks like it's going to be a good flyer, too. I like the shape of that cab in there. It's really, really nice. Okay, and it's pretty straightforward. So, we're going to get going. All right, so we're working on the pepper. Now, one thing I mentioned before is the front bottom spar on the wing is tapered from 3 16th by 3 32nd to 3 32nd square. And since I'm going to put a little top spar on, I'm just going to make that 3 32nd square. Okay? Now it's really nice to have the laser cut parts here because every rib is a different size. And here I just want to show you is what I do in that case uh, so you don't have a gap in the bottom. Uh, before I even punch out the ribs, I just hit it with a little bit of CA, just a little bit to keep the little nub in place there, okay? And uh, you know, that way when you take it out, you can uh, leave a little piece in there. Let me find one here where I've done it, like this, all right? So now it'll fit the 332nd square without any gap, okay? And then you're going to have glue around that anyway, all right? So I'm going to finish the rest of the wing, and then we'll get back to work here. All right, the Comet Pepper. Now here's a few little things I did. Now on the nose button, I lowered it down just a little bit because uh, it looked like once you add down thrust, you might have problems with the bobbin hitting the top there. So I just lowered it slightly, okay? Got the landing gear on. That's my usual plug-in landing gear. You know, I like the landing gear. It's nice and compact. It's only .045 wire, nice and light. All right. Now, on the top of the cabin here, I put uh, a little half round piece just to help support the windshield a little bit. Uh, then we have the compartment for the RC equipment. Now, it's a little tight in there because, the, you know, the cabin's fairly small. So I decided I'm going to put the servo externally on the side and I'll just use a wire push rod. Okay, now I added some diagonal braces here because, I don't know, it felt a little twisty to me. And it's pretty amazing. You just put in those few braces. They were 16th by 332nd, and that really stiffens it up a lot. Okay, and I wind to the breaking point uh, with rubber, so, you know, you really have to have a strong fuselage. 
Uh, now, the only other thing I did is on the side here, I put a little covering on the top because I noticed with the half tube, I tend to dent the poly span. And, you know, you can shrink out the dents when you come home, but I just thought I'll just put a little sheeting on the top so we don't have that problem anymore. Okay. Uh, we got the stab built. All right. I still have to do some sanding on that. We got the rudder pretty much ready to go. Okay. And uh, we'll get going on that. Now let me grab the wing here. So here's here's the wing. All right. It's a nice looking wing. I thought it came out pretty good. It's almost ready. I got a little bit more sanding to do there. Okay. So as I build this plane, I'm really liking it here. It's nice and compact. Looks really light. It's got good wing area. It's got a long nose to rear peg. So I'm hoping uh, this should be a good flyer. All right. So we're going to finish sanding and uh, do some covering and we'll be ready to go. All right, the Comet Pepper, all done, ready to go. Now this color is called Purple Pansy. It's from the uh, Just for Flowers series, okay? It's, you know, translucent. It's a little darker than I thought it'd be, but I think it's okay, all right? You can see I have the servo, and I just used the wire push rod this time, all right? I've got the uh, receiver on, I mean the transmitter on, so I can show you the rudder here. So there it is, all right? So it's got plenty of throw. You really, as long as you have enough rudder, you don't need much throw. Okay, and uh, this will work fine. I've done it many times like this. Now there we have the switch. You can see the receiver is on there and uh, there's the prop. Now the only thing I did different here is this time I used something called the safety pin. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, you can find this on some old timer plans and I have to thank Hepcat at, uh, you know, HPA for suggesting this. From what I can tell so far, it looks like it might stop a little smoother with a little less of the click, click, click than a spring. Uh, we'll see as I get more experience with it, but I think it's really nice. I'll show you a little demo when I finish this, okay? Now, the total weight was uh, 56.6 grams, exactly the same as the Court of Victory, except, uh, you know, this has more wing area, so that part's nice. All right, uh, with the equipment is about 68 grams, okay? I've got an 11-inch. I tried the quarter. Uh, I'm sorry, actually, this is the Alanzo prop. It's got about 11-inch pitch, and, uh, you know, I can also try the quarter prop. That has a little higher pitch like a 1.3 uh, pitch diameter ratio. Lanzo's closer to one from what I can tell. Okay, so I think it's gonna be a good flyer. It's a nice plane, nice looking plane. And then uh, we're gonna get out and do some trimming. Okay, I'm gonna show you the free wheel stop with the safety pin, and here we go. And there you go. Practically no clicking, very little movement, and it's in free wheel. Okay, 150 hand ones. Okay. Looks good. Nice. All right, 300 hand lines, here we go. Looks good. Very nice. All right, we'll put some lines on. All right, here we go. Come on, install. Oh yeah, that's what you want. See, we got higher that time. Yeah, that's 
that's what you want. I'm leaving. I'm having a little trouble getting it back though. It's a little breeze. Come on, sir. There we go. Flies nice this plane. See that little down in the wing really helped a lot. Nice. I'm gonna bring it back. There we go. There we go. <laughs>